Hi there, my name is Amit. I'm currently studying in University of Manitoba, pursuing my bachelor's in computer science and political studies. I'm currently working at ICM as a student experience ambassador, and I graduated from ICM 2016. So when I first came to Canada, it was a total culture shock for me. Everything was different over here. But the the thing that weirded me the most was people in here saying thank you and sorry continuously. If it, either it's their mistake, they'll say sorry. If it's my mistake, they'll say sorry again. So that's the thing that like I'm like okay, people are here polite, so it's gonna be easy living here. So ICM helped me a lot. They helped me a lot to be the person that I am today. I I used to be a really shy person. I don't speak much in front of people. I'm introvert. But slowly and gradually, I start volunteering for ICM. I start going to events, then helping organizing the events over there. Then the confidence in me boosted, and surprisingly, after that, ICM gave me opportunity to give a speech in front of 700 students, and I did that. So that was like a biggest achievement for me. So I always advise students that do come to university and live university life because it's gonna help you to grow. Because it's gonna help you to set your skills that you don't know that existed in you. Because I never knew that I can give a speech in front of 700 students, so that was like a wow moment for me. After that, I develop another skills as well. I barely can put speak in English now. I am fluent in English that because I did volunteering, talk with people, and everything. Being a university student is a bit different than being an ICM student because ICM helped me a lot in settling down in here, overcome my culture shock. But in 2016, when I got transferred to university, it was a bit different experience than ICM. But that's such an amazing experience that I'm continuing experience there. I'm in third year of my bachelor's right now. I I did my co-op over here as well. In University of Manitoba, they offer us a co-op. That's a paid internship that you do it for four months, and I did that at Bethline as well. And it was amazing. I can put that in my resume as well, and that's gonna help me after my bachelor's. And University of Manitoba also gave me an opportunity uh, to start my club in here, a uh, social club in which I help students to settle down in here, the new student who come up. Uh, so it helped me to polish my leadership skills as well. So yeah, the University of Manitoba gave me a lot, and it's still giving me. My journey at ICM is really memorable, but the most, the thing that I like the most is the events of ICM. I love their events; it's so enjoyable, and it's related to my culture, my festival. So I enjoy it at its best, and it also helped me uh, not to miss my home that much because I'm celebrating over here with my people. I love Winnipeg. I love Winnipeg. Winnipeg is one of the best places in Canada you can be in. Uh, I have my reasons for that. Like some people will say, "Oh, this it's a boring place. You don't, you can't do these things. If you are in a big city, you can't do." I'm totally against them. In summers, I love to do camping with my friends. And Winnipeg and Manitoba is a place that we have ample of provincial parks that we can go in and have bonfire, dancing, music, campfire, and everything. So, yeah, I I, I love summers because of that. That I can hang out with my friends outside. And in winters, I, I love winter. Winters are beautiful over here. It's 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 a total life. Someone is gonna say winter are brutal in here. It's beautiful when the snow fall on your face. It's it's the experience that cannot be explained. So that's it. Uh, if you want to know more about Winnipeg or campus, you can go to ICM's Instagram page. There's a story highlight that I did the Instagram takeover, so you can educate yourself more. And thank you. I'll see you guys all in Winnipeg. All the best. Bye bye.